Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, 1212 Harmon or Harmon. So, yeah, like I said earlier in the other video that I would start my automotive vlogs very soon. But today I'm going to just do a tutorial because I realized, uh, as I was looking around on the forums on S2KI, a lot, a lot of people were asking about it, so it's whatever. So I figured today I'd tell you guys on how to install the hardtop on the S2000, which is not that hard at all, really. Like, it helps if you have another person, but you can do it by yourself. But yeah, uh, I'll show you guys how to do it, and yeah, like, actually, let me just get the main question out of the way. Yeah, you can keep this off top. Some people delete it for the track look, and it's actually to cut down weight. I think it's like 30 pounds or something, but nonetheless, yeah, it cuts down some weight, but I like to have both for the summer and the winter, so it's about to be raining about next week, so I figured I'm going to take down the soft top, put on the hard top, and yeah, all right. All right, the first thing I'm going to do right now is just drop the soft top down. All right, it's gonna be in the down position, so leave it there. It's cool if you want to disconnect the little um, the roof plug, because I know most people do sometimes, so they don't just accidentally like go up on it and it just tries to crush their hard top. But if not, just be wary of it. No biggie. All right, guys. So yeah, this is my S2000. It's an 07 AP2. So basically, the first step is oh, shit, you gotta unlock the door for one. It's a great thing. Oh yeah, I took out my passenger seat just so it's a little easier to show you guys this example because sometimes it's hard, but yeah. All right, so my seat's already out. Let me get some more light in here so you guys can see this. It's already out and everything. You don't have to take your seat out. I just have it out because I've already had it out for a little while because I was working on installing some other seats, but some wiring issues. So I was going to fix that later on, but all right. So basically when you're going to install the hard top, your car may probably still have the little hanger clips back here. But, let me see if I have one sitting here. Should be, it'll basically be like one of these, and then there's like a clip underneath it, so it's basically like this. From what one of my buddies was telling me, it's apparently to hold your clothes or something, like it's like a hanger, but no. Uh, so, let me just show you. Make sure you unscrew that with a Phillips head, I believe. It's just like a, I guess like a Phillips head, I'm pretty sure. Just unscrew it, it's just gonna come off and you should have both the two pieces yeah like i was saying it's just be just be like two pieces it'll be this clip that's usually like right here but yeah you know just unhook it you won't need it everything just pops back into place so the first step i like to do is take up the door rails just follow this for both sides so basically what i like to do is just pop up the little clip it's kind of hard to do this one-handed but there we go so it just slides open just take it off everything pops back in it's just little push pins do that. Next, you, what you want to do is actually go right here and just pull. It's going to pop both. See, it's going to come out as a section. All right, let me get my seatbelt out of the way. Basically, roll it down. It's going to be held in place already down here by a little screw. Leave it. It's a lot easier just to push it back in when it's already in one piece. And follow the same idea for the other side. And then let me get back with the hard top real quick and I'll show you guys. All right, guys, so nothing much has changed besides the fact that I just got my hard top on. I had to ask my uh, dad for a little help, considering the fact that it's pretty heavy. I forgot how heavy it was. But yeah, I just, the only thing I did so far was just set it down. It's, it's basically just there. So I have all this half of my interior sitting here, basically. And the half is also the same. So, you know, you'll see this little gap right here. So basically, what I'm going to show you guys next is... Let me just make some space here. Basically, all you're doing now is mounting the bracket point here. Shoot. It's okay, I'll change the angles in a second. You're basically mounting the two uh, angle points there, here, and locking in the top latches. What I like to do first is actually secure the top latches in, because it kind of just pulls the top forward, so it kind of lines up for you if you've done it before. If not, it still gives you a pretty good set point on where to start going from. But yeah, let me just lock these in. I'll put in a new angle. I'll change the angles real quick so you guys can actually see some more of where this is going. Probably get those stand out. But yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to just cut it here real quick and I'll show you guys real quick. But as you can see, it's right over there. There's going to be two points. That little upper one right there and this little corner back here. But yeah, let me just change points for you guys. I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so I'm kind of like, all right, I'm too tall for this car. Let's be honest, that's why my soft top is always down and the hard top's rarely ever on, but it's going to do. So I've included a photo of where the brackets basically line up. It's going to be two. It's going to be the fir first hole is going to be right up at the top, right the closest to the window. The second one's going to be just pushed like a little bit back, but you'll see it. It's simple. Basically just ratchet it in. For me, the top turned out to be a four, actually, that's weird, it's a 13. Turned out to be a 13 so uh, socket that's going to push that one in. And for the rear, I usually use a 10, but you can also make 8s work, which is really weird. So there's a few bolts that fit. I picked them up at Home Depot. I basically just picked up a simple, let's see, just go. Oh, no. All right, so I basically just picked up a simple washer and bolt. It always works. It's pretty simple, easy to repair. Use a ratchet. Don't impact them like my buddy did when he borrowed my hardtop because that will break through the hardware latches really quick. So, yeah, let me just screw this up and uh, I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. So, basically, you can see right here and right here, these two points right here. It's fucking one, two, they're all set. So, basically, now just tuck everything back in the way you unhook it. Basically, this just Falls back in. Oh, I want to get my seatbelt out. Yikes. Basically, just locks right in. Locks right in. Just put the floor piece back on top and you're good to go. On this, I do recommend. Wait a minute. What's going on here? What's the... Oh, this is the wrong piece. Ooh. That's not the wrong piece. All right, on this, I do recommend you guide these in because I have broken my middle one, as you can tell. So on this, make sure you guide in these little white pins. Basically, it'll sit right there. And the minute you do, it's just gonna sit flush with the piece that's already up there anyway, so it should be good. See, everything snaps into place. The car's like a Lego, so it's all good to go. So let me just do the other side and I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, so basically I just clipped everything back in. It's pretty simple. And I'll include photos for the parts that I couldn't really show you guys because it's too damn small in this car. I'm like six something. I should not be able to fit in this car. But yeah, I'll show you guys photos and everything else that I could show you, I'll include. So yeah, nonetheless, this is how it looks. Basically, you get like a pretty nice big window. I have the Mugen one right now from Rockstar Garage, but Honestly, I should have sprang for an OEM style one because you could have gotten a really big window. But yeah, nonetheless, it's still pretty cool for a hard top that was like 1300 color matched all together. It's pretty nice. But alright, I'll post the rest and I guess tune in for the next video. Thanks.